Cold Lasagna Boys? I don't even think that's a good band name. Do you want an update? What does it taste like? Cold lasagna. <laughs> I hate you. Tastes like hot lasagna. But cold? But minus the hot. Get and out. Add the cold. Get out. Mathematically, it makes sense, like the Pythagorean theorem. It just, I did experiments and it works. <laughs> what are you blogging? What are you blogging? Yeah, I don't know, because you're not on the screen. Yeah, you're damn right I'm not. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> just, I wanted to update you. We were talking about you. Oh. We're talking some mad shit. Why is this shit gonna be angry? I was just telling them that I I, I, I decided that Cold Lasagna Boys is actually not a good band name. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> Bye, Stephanie. I love you. I thought it was so good. No, I decided that cold lasagna, like just cold lasagna, is better. I don't like boys. All right, guys, cold lasagna. That's, it just sounds like you're gonna roll out a platter of lasagna on the stage. <laughs> but cold lasagna boys, you don't know if it's lasagna or boys or both. Cold lasagna girls, better. <laughs> girls only wearing lasagna. <laughs> Get out. <Okay>. Get out. <laughs> He's nuts. He is. Ah, oh, cold spaghetti boys. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'll tell him later. I mean, obviously. Okay, so this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn with this metallic sparkles running through, and this is just plain red heart. It it's it's softer than the red heart because Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn is crazy soft, right? And this is just Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn, but it has sparkles in it. This metallic yarn is running through my fingers right now as I crochet, and I honestly can't even tell that there is sparkles in it. Like, it's not rubbing my finger and hurting me at all. I mean, I have an indent, but I always have an indent. <laughs> That's because I hold my yarn kind of tight. That's because I don't wrap my yarn at all. I literally just have it running over that one finger, so gotta hold it tight for tension. Here is the body of the sweater. So um, it doesn't have any like indents for the neck. It's like super straightforward. This is like just a rectangle. And then on the bottom, it has the same ribbing that's on the cuffs, if you can see. It looks very clean. But yeah, you don't even have to do three colors. You can make all nine of these like different colors. That would be fun. Your starting row may be curly if you cast on too tightly. Because knitting does that for sure. Working on this last stream and I finished it this morning. I posted a TikTok about it, but I didn't post it on my Instagram yet. But yeah, so while we were making this, I was like, I don't know. I don't know about the colors. I don't know. I don't know about it. I still like the other one much better. You guys can see the other one behind me. This is today. Um, okay, so you know how I told you guys that one back there took me 14 hours and we were trying to speed run this one. Um, this one took me 11 hours, so still, still a long time, but that's three hours less. So that's, I mean, that's pretty good, yeah. I found a sticker and it had like yarn and flowers on it and uh, it was the by flag colors and it said by stitchual on it and it had a crochet hook and knitting needles and I was like, babe, babe, I was like, this is perfect for me because, because guess what, first of all, I'm bisexual, yay. Second of all, I'm also bistitual because I crochet and I knit. And he was like, cool. And I was like, babe, this is very cool. Um, I was thinking about getting myself a magnifying glass. I'm gonna need one of those eventually, for sure. My eyes are really bad. The smallest one is a 2.5 millimeter. It's not this bright. I promise you. I mean, they are pretty bright. Um, I actually bought them because I was doing a really long car ride and um, half the car ride was gonna be overnight. So I bought these so that I could keep crocheting whenever the sun went down in the car. 
Um, it also came with scissors, a seam puller, and a tape measure. So nice. Yeah. So me and Caesar were talking about stuff that we used to do as kids, right? And we were talking about how somehow in the conversation it brought up the fact that we used to like sit over the vents in our house and have like a blanket over us and you know like the vent would blow up the blanket and it would be like full of the air you know and I was like oh that's so funny like you know I used to do that too and um but the thing is I would do it when the heat was on so that I would like be snuggled up in a blanket and I would have it like over my head you know and I would sit on the vent and it would blow hot air into it so I just had like a cuddly little warm pod and he used to do it with the AC so he would have like cold air blowing on him which I cannot stand I can't stand air blowing on me anyway just that I can't stand it I don't know why I hate it cold air just filling up your blanket I hate that I would hate that and he thought I was super weird for sitting over the vent with the heat on I was like no that's normal I can't believe he did it with the cold air what a weirdo I have wall vents wall vents anybody else have wall vents this is a very interesting topic um, on a crochet stream don't you guys think oh I'm the one that brought it up oh my god I'm just pale because I don't ever go outside. Edgy is a blue healer chihuahua mix. Come here. Hi, baby. Look over there. Look over there. Look at the, look at the, they want to see you. Why are you just sitting on me like this? <laughs> 